I am beyond excited. This is the hottest machine of 2023, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. And I've had to keep this a secret for more than six months, knowing that it was going to set the standard for 3D printers to come. We're going to look at the Mini's features, new tech, prints, all of it. And stick with me to the end, because I have a little bit of teaser on what to expect from Bamboo next. The Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is a bed slinger, but with the speed and quality that you come to expect from these new Core XY machines on the market. It prints at speeds up to 500 millimeters per second and even has a 14 minute benchy, but we'll get into that later. This machine is not just for beginners. I anticipate it's going to be in the hands of a million new 3D printer owners, but I think this is going to be a print farm monster. The A1 Mini is gonna show up in a box. It's gonna come fully assembled. It's gonna come pre-tuned and it's ready to go. It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes max from the time you open the box to the time you're printing. The AMS is the only thing that's gonna require you to uh, put in some screws, do some uh, plugging in and things like that. The printer itself is fully automatic from setting the Z offset to bed leveling to vibration resonance for input shaping and nozzle pressure. Everything is automatic. You don't have to worry about any of it. Now, if you don't understand a word I just said, that's great because you don't even have to worry about it. 3D printers are becoming appliances now, meant for people that want the absolute top tier 3D printing experience without all the tinkering and doing it at an incredible price point. And I'll get to that in a moment. Let me thank Bamboo Labs for sending over this machine. We sincerely appreciate the opportunity to have it, to play with it, to test it, and share it with uh, all of you. Now, I want you to keep these numbers in your head as we take a look at the printer and its features. This will significantly disrupt the 3D printing industry as we know it. The A1 Mini itself is $299. The AMS combo with the A1 Mini is $459, which is incredible. And then they have a combo package that's like $509. It ends up coming with a, a couple of extra nozzles, like a 0 0.2 and a 0 0.6. Um, but I think the only two things that are available at this time are the AMS and the A1 package and the combo package. I don't think that the A1 Mini alone is available quite yet, but you can go check the website. It'll be on the screen in the description below. Now, what I really want you to keep in mind is that the Prusa Mini is $459. That's a traditional bed slinger, regular speed, no multi-filament or multi-color system, and none of the advanced tech that we're about to talk about. So think about that. The exact same price point, but wildly different technology. It's gonna be tough for some of these companies to keep up. Now, as far as build quality goes, the A1 Mini is relatively heavy. I think it's somewhere between 12 and 13 pounds. And to compare or contrast, the Prusa Mini comes in at like between nine and 10 pounds. As you can see, the A1 Mini is fully railed on the X, Y, and Z axis. And uh, it's an all metal construction, very well balanced. Uh, matter of fact, when you look at the B-roll, you're gonna see that it handles these speeds incredibly well. It's build volume, the same as the Prusa Mini. That wasn't by accident. It's 180 millimeters cubed with a heat bed that goes up to about 80 C and it comes with a flexible textured double-sided PEI sheet. Pretty standard now for most 3D printers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Also, stick with me to the end because I'm gonna share with you what's coming from Bamboo next. And some of you might already know. Now the tool head on the Bamboo A1 Mini comes with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. It can reach a temperature up to about 300 C and it can work, of course, with the AMS um, or without the AMS with a single uh, PTFE tube running into the hot end. You can print PLAs, PTGs, TPUs, um, and even PVAs for uh, dissolvable supports. Bamboo is not recommending ABS, ASA, polycarbonates, or any other type of abrasive filament like uh, carbon fiber filled or glass filled filaments. It comes with a quick swap hot end system. It's basically one clip. You're gonna pop that, remove the hot end. You can put it in a new one so that allows you to effectively change from 0.2 to 0.4, 0 0.6 millimeter nozzles. And uh, you can do that all without messing with electrical harnesses or connections. This video is generously sponsored by Polymaker, the world's largest manufacturer of 3D printing filament and the supplier of all of the filament that we use here on the show. You can check them out in the link in the description below. Really quickly, you're probably gonna be seeing some B-roll comparison between the Bamboo A1 Mini and the Bamboo X1 Carbon, which happens to be right there behind me. The orange eyes here, that is off of the A1 Mini. And the little print here, the little ghost with the green eyes, that is off of the X1 Carbon. Now I will have uh, some close-ups here that you're probably looking at, but I am staring at these up close right now in person, and I cannot tell the difference between the two machines at all. I don't see ringing, 
everything is absolutely perfect between these two. And matter of fact, if I hadn't have told you which color was which, I don't think you could tell at all. The white filament is Polymaker's Polysonic PLA. That's their high-speed PLA. And then the green and the orange are bamboo filaments. It's crazy. You can't tell the difference. And that says a lot for a bed slinger that's $459 versus an X1 Carbon combo there that's, what, $1,400, $1,500. I'm pretty sure everyone is going to own one of these. This is insane. I know, the Benchy. Everyone wants to see a Benchy, and so we'll have some close-up B-roll of it here uh, while I'm talking. This is Bamboo's 14-minute Benchy, and it's actually about 17 minutes listed on the screen, but that includes about two and a half or three minutes of heat up and calibration and things like that, but it's effectively a 14 minute print time. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm darn impressed, matter of fact, I don't think any of the machines that we have here in the studio outside of Bamboos can produce a 14 minute Benchy that looks as good as this does. And like I said, that's coming from a bed slipper. Printing at these speeds isn't really practical outside of maybe prototyping or just flexing. I think most people that have a 3D printer aren't gonna be pushing them to these limits. But regardless, think about that. You're getting that from a bed slinger. Nuts. For those of you not familiar with the AMS, this is the automatic material system. It holds four spools and it's relatively quiet compared to the original AMS. Very similar in result, but quite a bit different in design. The spools actually pop off here from the side, pop back on. The servos actually do the winding and rewinding that feed it into the hot end. And the hot end actually takes four PTFE tubes. It has an odometer sensor, indicator and status LEDs up top, and it has a single two foot power cable that runs between it and the A1 Mini. Now, if you wanted to move this, maybe in a print farm application or just separate it above and below, I don't know, it'd be awful nice if uh, Bamboo had an extension for the power cable, or maybe you could fashion one yourself. The AMS light, just like the AMS, uh, supports RFID, which basically means that the printer can read the type of filament and the color filament uh, directly from the spool, which allows the printer to have quite a bit more information about what material it's printing with. And it updates the interface. It's all kind of handy, kind of nice. Now here comes the sensor tech. This stuff is pretty darn cool. And this is what sets this machine apart from the rest of the printers on the market. The machine has uh, the filament monitoring system, which is going to help this machine prevent tangles, it's gonna help this machine prevent jams, and it does that with a couple of different sensors. Some sensors that are above the extruder and sensors that are below the extruder. It has a filament tension sensor, a filament position sensor above the extruder, and it has a pressure sensor below the extruder. And of course, I mentioned earlier that the AMS has an odometer sensor to know exactly just how much filament is traveled. So all of this together allows the printer to in intelligently know what's happening to prevent jams, clogs, and tangles, and things like that. Also, it can dynamically adjust flow using the pressure sensor while it's printing. So if the gears in the extruder start to slip on the filament, it knows that there's a problem, it knows that there's a jam, it can actually stop the print. And of course it has multiple accelerometers because that's how input shaping is done. Now the motor tech is pretty cool. It's got a feature called active noise canceling where the motors actually do a vibration test and then they reduce the noise of the motor to nearly nothing. This machine is darn quiet. Also, a fun little side note, the printer sounds, all the little musical notes that it plays, there's no speakers on the printer. It does all of that with the motors. And there's three motors, in fact, that can do it. So it can actually play three notes at one time. And you can even upload your own custom MIDI songs directly to the printer. And I'll have a link on the screen or in the description below where you can actually convert MIDI to G-code to play on your printer. Oh, that's kind of cool. The display on the machine is pretty simple. It's a full color display. It's relatively small, very usable, but I really don't think that uh, many people are gonna be using that. I think most people with the A1 Mini and even the machines behind me are gonna be using the Bamboo Handy app or they're gonna be using the Bamboo Studio Slicer to manage and control the printers. Now, mentioning the Bamboo Handy app, that allows you to remotely manage the A1 Mini it allows you to stop prints, start prints, monitor, receive alerts, things like that. It has a 1080p camera that's meant for mostly just for monitoring. It's a very low frame rate camera, but it does support time lapses. And it includes a little physical slider that you actually can slide over the lens of the camera, blocking it from being able to see anything. For instance, this is sitting on the studio bench and the printer is facing an open door into a hallway. And if my family were to walk by while it was uh, printing, well, then anybody that can see that camera via the cloud or network would be able to be seeing into my home outside of the studio. So it's kind of a nice little feature that you can just click that over 
and you don't have to worry about that. So now we get to talk about Maker World, which is something that gets me super excited because this is a feature that we've all talked about for a really long time and we've really wanted for a really long time. And this is what is going to bring millions of new people into 3D printing. Right now with the Bamboo Handy app in Maker World, you open the app, you find the fun model that you want to print, you select it, you hit print, and send it directly to your printer. No manual slicing on the computer anymore. It's all sliced in the cloud. You can still slice if you want to. There's no functionality removed. This just makes it easier for people to be able to come into 3D printing and join us in our hobby. And this is what's needed if we want 3D printing to go mainstream. Now, some of you will say, I could already print from my mobile phone with my Octoprint and my Raspberry Pi. And the answer is, no, you couldn't do it like this. It's not the same. I can start 3D prints on my raised 3D machines behind me from my mobile phone, right? That's not the same thing. This is a complete repository where you don't do any slicing. You simply select the model, send it to the printer. The printer shows up right there in the app on your phone. Send it, done, come and collect your print. This is what happens when user experience becomes a priority when they're creating products. I'm telling you, this is going to change 3D printing forever. Now tell me in the comments below if you think that's the right direction for 3D printing to go. Me personally, I think it is because it still allows anybody who wants to slice, anybody who wants to tinker, anyone who wants to do those more fine grained and fine tuned settings, they can do that. But it also means that people that don't have that technical skill or ability or people who just want to print and not worry about those things, they can join us in our hobby too. It's a win for everyone. Another thing that's really cool about this machine when it arrives is that Bamboo includes one of these awesome little 3D printing kits with every Bamboo A1 Mini. I received the Marble Run Components Kit and there's a couple others. They have an LED lamp kit, they have a model engine kit, and they have a wireless mouse kit, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of jealous of whoever got that one. Thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end and I promised you that I would tease you with what's coming from Bamboo next. Now, I want you to think about this just for a moment. So I'm going to tease you with some questions. Do you think that Bamboo would have created a new series of 3D printers called the A1 series that would only have one printer in it? Do you think that Bamboo would have created a brand new AMS system called the AMS Lite that connects with a single plug into the A1 series that only had one printer? Now, I promise you, that there are other A1 series printers coming, various sizes, and also there's a helmet class printer coming. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.